up you too, it's Zabdo's TCG here and welcome back to another TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you, have, if you haven't already because we're actually making our way to 60,000 subscribers which is actually mind boggling. Also if you like what you see feel free to leave a like, it helps out the channel tremendously and only requires one tiny second of your time which I always appreciate. So today we're talking about the Night Wanderer set, the new set coming out in Japan on the 7th of June and it will most likely be part of of our mini set over in August so making these cards legal for the, for the world championships over in Honolulu Hawaii so makes me very excited we're gonna be talking about these cards we're gonna be uh, giving my honest opinion and review them uh, like no cards you've ever seen before so with that being said be sure to check out the sponsors for today's video dragonshield.com for your sleeves binders and bag boxes you can get 5% off on everything on the website using the coupon Zapdos5 if you want to create your own unique custom playmat, you can do so by clicking that link down below. There's potownstore.com to, uh, of course, get TCG Live code cards. You can get 5% off on everything on the website as well using the coupon TCG. And if you're a European player, definitely head over to cardmarket.com where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. You can use the referral name TCG to help this uh, channel out even further. With that being said, let's take a look at the uh, upcoming set over in Japan. So it's going to be uh, 5,400 yen for a booster box of Night Wanderer. And uh, some cool artwork here, Monkey Dory and all that good stuff. We're going to be seeing how good these cards actually are. And uh, these are like some uh, promotional artworks where that they actually uh, showcased. So that's going to be super cool. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to be checking out uh, Okie Doggy EX. 250 HP, look at this fella. I think the basic EXs are getting more and more HP these days, so uh, there is a little bit of an HP buff going around. Definitely if we take a look at something like a Blood Moon Ursa Luna EX uh, that comes out in our Twilight Masquerade set, also 260 HP. So this one 250 HP, two Darkness Energies and a Carlos Energy. And uh, if the opponent's Pokemon is poisoned, you're actually slapping uh, 130 damage more. So 260 damage. I am actually not that impressed, I'm gonna be honest. Even if like combine that with like uh, Radiant Sneasler and uh, the way you can poison Pokemon and then with the Stadium Car with some more poison shenanigans, still not quite impressed with that because you need three energies, meaning you need to use something like Dark Patches. You can also not use Professor Sada on this. So if you want to one-shot Pokemon, you're better off using Roaring Moon EX in my opinion. Also it's first attack. For a Carlos energy allows you to uh, search your deck for two basic uh, darkness energies and attach them to this Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. If you attach any energies in this way, this Pokemon is now poisoned. Okay, I see where this is going. Okay, okay, I got it completely wrong. It only slaps more damage if you are poisoned. So the only way you're going to be able to uh, make sure uh, you're going to be uh, having that condition is by uh, combining that with the Brute Bonnets. So there are capabilities with Brute Bonnets where you're gonna be able to uh, poison yourself and then you're gonna be able to poison the opponent and uh, there are also Radiant Sneezer to damage the opponent even further and the Stadium Car with some more damage buff. So you can actually get five damage counters between turns on the opponent's Pokemon, but you're also gonna damage yourself in the process because of that with that Stadium. So interesting situation, uh, also you need Three darkness energies that I've mentioned, even though you can build yourself up with its first attack. I personally don't believe this is going to be having that much an of an impact. If you want to be playing darkness type Pokemon to hit for weakness, you're better off playing Charizard EX, the terrestrial form from Obsidian Flames. But this fella, 260, needing three energies, I don't believe is going to be making that much of a dent in the format. Monkey Dory EX, this fella has 210 HP. Also, it's attack 190 damage, and you cannot use the attack during your next turn. So only 190. That's like mediocre for three energies these days on a uh, yeah two prize Pokemon. Also, its uh, ability is where it's at. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's Pokemon's attack while you have a uh, uh, Paturant EX in play, your opponent takes one less prize card. So you can turn this into a one prize Pokemon. Pretty much. But only works if you're knocked out by damage. So something like Frenged Gouging or Star Requiem will not activate this ability. So you can turn this into a one prizer if you have the uh, Paturant EX at your disposal. Uh, we're going to be talking about Paturant EX first, I, I suppose. So it's a 190 HP Pokemon with also an ability. Once during your turn, you may switch one of your benched Darkness Pokemon 
with your active Pokemon. If you do, your new active Pokemon is now poisoned. Okay, I see the trend where this is going to. So you're going to be playing most of all these darkness type Pokemon into one deck to combine them. So uh, let's see here. It's attack 60 damage times the number of prize cards your opponent has taken. So if they've taken 4 prize cards, 240 for 2 energies. As mentioned, you're better off playing Charizard if you want to be hitting for big damage if the opponent has taken prize cards. And uh, yeah, you can poison the new active Pokemon so it does uh, work a little bit with Okie Dogie, I, I suppose. So you can poison yourself and then staff for that 260 damage output for 3 energies. Again, it's a lot of hassle to of course uh, make a dent because a lot of uh, yeah archetypes are stage 2s. Think about Dragapult, think about... Of course, Charizard, it's like most of these stage 2s are not phased by this at all. They're also all weak to fighting, by the way. So uh, all of these cards, weak to fighting, means that something like a Greninja EX can slide through all of these Pokemon. And uh, this also only gives up one prize card. I don't know how to feel about this. Maybe you're playing it with EXP shares and some dark patches and you flip-flop between them, I suppose. But not not too impressed currently. Uh, then we have the Fazan Deep. PD, if I pronounce that correctly, so 210 HP. I'm a big fan of this card because it is giving me Oricorio GX vibes. And I've been playing a lot throughout history and uh, getting more cards in your hand is good. So you, uh, if one of your Pokemon was knocked out uh, during your opponent's last turn, you may use this ability, draw three cards. You cannot use more than one take advantage ability per turn. This actually is very good in decks that want to establish a really crazy hand size. And uh, if you get knocked out, you can just get this Pokemon out with something like a Nest Ball and then activate the ability to draw three additional cards to, of course, get some combo situations going. I really like this card. Definitely going to be a one-off in binders. And uh, yeah, in specific decks, you might include a copy if you want to. Uh, this also has some extra protection against something like a, an Iono or a Roxanne. When this is in play... Uh, on the bench, you're a little bit protected against Iono and Roxanne, which I personally believe is very great. It's attack, 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon is not the craziest thing ever. Sometimes you can get away with, if the opponent is not careful, to just snipe one of their uh, bench Pokemon when they least expect it. But I think this is one of the better uh, EXs that is coming out there, and uh, that's the take advantage uh, ability. is definitely going to be seeing play for sure. One less prize card on this Pokemon, I don't see that being a, a crazy thing. Then this guy slapping 260 damage. I, there might be something there, right? If like, uh, tried to poison the opponent's Pokemon as well with something like a Brute Bonnet. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, Brute Bonnet is actually just a basic Pokemon. So let's see here. Uh, proxies, uh, Brute Bonnet. Yeah, if you've been living under a rock and don't know what it is. Yeah, once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, you may make both active Pokemon poison. So that means that you can... Poison the opponent, uh, you can have access to uh, yeah, the Radiant Sneasler in combination. That's already three damage counters between turns. And then a Stadium that helps uh, to boost that even up with two additional damage counters. I don't know what the Stadium is called, but the, it actually has released in, I think it's uh, Temporal Forces. So that's five damage counters between turns. And you're slapping uh, 260, meaning 310 damage. In theory, that sounds okay, but looking at... Uh, yeah, I think Dracapult EX actually has uh, 320 HP. Dracapult EX here. Yeah, 320 HP. So you're not one-shotting the most popular deck in the format. Charizard also has more HP. And you're also becoming a liability because you poison yourself. And with the addition of that stadium, you turn yourself into a lower amount of hit points. So... I don't know, we need a better way to power it up, even though it has its first attack to power itself up. I personally believe that it is not going to be seeing that much play because the better darkness type Pokemon in the format is Charizard. Same for this Monkey Dory EX, uh, one fewer prize card, who cares, I suppose. Although you can pair that up with something like a Hero Escape to have a 310 HP one prize Pokemon, but if you have a uh, Petcheran EX in play... It's a weak HP Pokemon that can get like boss stop or uh, yeah use Prime Catcher on, so there is that. Yeah, the new active Pokemon is now poison, so this actually works together with that uh, Ogie Dogie. But I I'm no, I'm just a big fan of uh, Fazan DPD. Oh man, these names these names are getting crazy. This actually is a very great card. I'm excited for this one. 
Because back in the days, I played like the Blacephalon deck from Unbroken Bonds, and I played an Oracorio GX, and I put so much emphasis into like stuff like in that days, days where there were reset stamps everywhere, so you can protect yourself against hand disruption, and I really, really like that. Okay, moving forward, this Curum, man. Remember when uh, Mew V Max was everywhere, and then they decided decided to play Drapion? Well, this actually is anti. Lost box material. It's the nightmare of every lost box player. You have Kyurem here. If your opponent has a card with Colrus in its name in their discard pile, the attack cost of this Pokemon is uh, one carless energy instead. So uh, the attack Triforce uh, means you can use it for one carless energy, uh, 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. That's just crazy, man. Just get rid of your Sableye, Crabran, and uh, Comfey, or just all the Comfys together. Kacha! For one car as energy. All the Lost Box players will be very, 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 very afraid if their uh, yeah, Mana Fee is not in play during their first couple of turns, or they can potentially get wiped by a Curum. Very crazy. So, Lost Box Giratina, regular Turbo Lost Boxes, uh, sometimes Lost Box with Dra uh, Dracapult. So, everything that plays Comfey and is playing Colrus. This Curum is gonna go crazy. I really like this card and uh, definitely combined with Prime Catcher. Canceling Cologne, you see where we're going with this. Even if they get Manaphy out, bam, three prize cards all together. They can never win the prize race anymore. So uh, yeah, this Curum anti loss box material. And I love it because I've had it with all these flower selectings that have been uh, tormenting everyone for the last couple of years uh, by uh, being so slow. Flower selecting, they take ages to uh, select one card and uh, yeah, there's a lot of ties involved by playing Lost Box stacks. Uh, so I'm happy with this Kyurem for sure. Then uh, Binding Mochi, uh, the attacks of the poison Pokemon this card is attached to do 40 more damage to your opponent's active. Okay, okay, now we are getting somewhere. So. 40 additional damage, Ew, that can definitely get there. Okay, so Im imagine we were at 310 at our max damage output with the stadium. Let's scratch the stadium all together, we're at uh, 290. The uh, poison tool card is all we need to start one-shotting everyone. So um, yeah, Radiant Sneezer or the stadium. You can choose whether uh, which Pokemon you prefer. I think in that situation, um, yeah, you definitely need to poison the opponent's Pokemon as well because this actually stops 160, then 160 more. With the tool card, you're actually at, I think, Brute Bonnet and Radiant Sneezer or the Stadium will be the trick to make sure that we can hit the numbers against uh, big EXs. But then again, you get one shot regardless. And three Darkness Energies is kind of a lot. I've, I've had troubles with three Darkness Energies like playing uh, Professor Sada and Dark Patches on uh, a Roaring Moon EX. This actually just needs three and you cannot uh, overly... Uh, Find the energy, so it probably needs to set us up with the Carlos energy, making yourself wide open. But 40 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon uh, if uh, you are poisoned. Interesting. Cool tool card. I wonder if it's gonna be helping out. You probably. I don't know. You cannot have more HP with Hero Escape. You're gonna be lowering yourself down because you're poisoned. But there are capabilities in the world where you're gonna be able to one shot, and there's also. You will need AXP share, otherwise, yeah, all your dark patches are gone. Whatever. Okay, there's also a new Colrus. Search your deck for a stadium card and an energy card and put them in hand. And this also works with the Curum, by the way. If uh, if the opponent has a card in their discard pile with the name Colrus, you're actually going to be able to uh, use the Curum as well. So uh, also these cards have an H regulation mark, meaning they're around for two years. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Seeing if, if this actor ever sees play in specific decks and they play low amount of hit points Pokemon, then Curum can actually go crazy. And then, ladies and gentlemen, A-Spec cards are no longer tool cards or item cards. They are now also part of stadiums. And uh, this stadium is actually kind of bonkers. Uh, let's just talk about it, shall we? Neutral center. Prevent all damage done to Pokemon that don't have rule boxes by attacks from your opponent's uh, Pokemon EX and uh, Pokemon V. Okay, pretty much this only works for Pokemon that don't have rule boxes. But then you're prevented from damage from EXs and Pokemon V. But it's only the damage, so all the effects still go through, by the way. But I don't know how to feel about this. Also, the opponent has full control. You can Lost Vacuum this, you can overlap it with another stadium. Uh, you can Tempest Dive this away, you, you never know. <laughs> There's lots of things you can do. And also, if this stadium card is in the discard pile, um, 
Let's see here. You can actually not. Yeah, actually, uh, if this card is in your discard pile, it can be put into your deck or hand. Okay, so you cannot get it back, pretty much. Which means that you can only have one use out of this, and you're probably gonna have to com combine that with something like uh, a Roxanne or an Iono, so the opponent doesn't have answers to attack with something else. But prevent all damage done to Pokemon that don't have rule boxes. Actually, pretty crazy. Like, say you're up against something like a Snorlax block deck. You're already annoying as it is, and then, uh, yeah, you're preventing damage if they ever get out of the active position by Pokemon EXs and V Pokemon. I can see this working out. You first have to get rid of the opponent's outs. Uh, maybe you can use a couple of Eerie to get rid of vacuums. I suppose that's something you could do. Also, wait until the stadium war is over and then slap this down and then out of nowhere they don't have any more stadiums left because there's not a lot of stadiums in decks, let's be honest, maybe like max of two or three. Not, it's not gonna be like the big stadium war like we had with Path to the Peak. Uh, I don't know, it's a pro... The opponent has actually access to uh, ways to can bump this. It's very similar to like Lake Equity where you think in, gl in first glance, oh, this is a very great card, but the opponent has full control uh, when they attack, so they can start searching, quick search stadium, you see where we're going with this. So, not too keen on the card, let's be honest, there are way better ace pack cards to be including in decks. The Colorus to get an energy card, actually is able to get out special energy, so don't sleep on that if you're ever looking for that one special energy, like a legacy energy, for example. Or uh, there are more energies out there, new upper energy for example. This could actually be great because uh, Chloros Tendency is actually searchable with something like Luminion V. Or with stuff like the little um, little fella, what was it again? The Shushi Pokemon, uh, looking at the top 6 cards of the deck, uh, allowing you to f get a supporter you find there. So there's that. Okay, so conclusion is not... Two crazy powerful cards, but I expect something that can work with Darkness type Pokemon, right? You would need additional energy acceleration for Darkness type Pokemon to make uh, the Darkness type Pokemon here a little bit better. This actually is not too bad per se. 60 damage for every prize card the opponent has taken. So if they've taken five prize cards, 300 damage. Unfortunately, uh, cutting a little bit short. Two, of course, stuff like uh, stage two EXs, but you will need definitely more darkness energy acceleration. I think dark patch is not enough to put these guys on the top table. This will see play 100%, and uh, this will see play 100%. Hopefully, you're not a lost box player because now your worst nightmare came true. They printed a counter card for it. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in ridiculous ways, you have no idea. Here we talk about the Pokemon TCG every single day, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's make our way to uh, 60,000 subscribers, and uh, we're gonna have an awesome celebration very, very shortly. So uh, I'm gonna be thinking about something good. Definitely a live stream coming up soon. Uh, with that being said, also uh, check out our sponsors, of course. They make the videos possible. Dragonshield.com. Sleeves Manager and Deck Boxes at your disposal with 5% off using the coupon ZAPDOS5. Yourplaymat.com for your uh, custom playmat. Potanstore.com if you want to have TCG Live code cards. And Cardmarket.com if you're a European player to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some brand new Pokemon TCG content. Peace.